This is the maxilla, the upper part of the jaw, and then this is the eye, and this right here is the lateral line, and it consists of sensory cells, and then this is the anterior dorsal fin, this is the posterior dorsal fin, and this is the candle fin, and then the anal fin right here stabilizes the body during locomotion, and then this is the pelvic fin that's important in stabilization, and then this is the pectorala, which is used for crawling, and then this is the operculum, which regulates the discharge of water through the gills, and then this is the mandible, the lower part of the jaw. For the digestive tract, food goes into the mouth and then the tongue, which is right here, pushes it back into the pharynx and then to the esophagus. And let's see if I can get this. Goes through, up, don't move. Bear with me. Why? Aha, I got it, okay. It goes through and then it goes into the stomach, which is right here. And then the pyloric cecum. Um, takes the food and helps mix with the stomach acid and starts breaking it down. Then it moves through the large intestine, which is right here. And then it goes out through the anus, which is also called the cloaca. And right here, we have the liver, which is used for helping and aiding in digestion. And then this little black thing right here is called the gallbladder, and it is used to store and concentrate bile. For the circulatory system, the heart is located here and pumps blood throughout the fish in a closed system. Okay, water enters the mouth and it goes into the gills where it meets up with the blood and it does a process called countercurrent exchange where the oxygen from the water is released into the blood and then the blood is circulated throughout the body and the water is released through the gills. Alright, so fishes reproduce through external fertilization and we have a girl fish right here these are its ovaries and it releases eggs through the cloaca all right this is the swim bladder of the fish and it is used for the buoyancy to help the fish stay afloat while swimming in different depths of the water it is an internal gas filled organ and it fills up with gas when it needs to rise and it when it needs to sink it releases the gas.